Big hello, how are you? So I've come along to talk a little bit about reducing back pain to feel good and one particular tip today, but before we delve into that, there, there is a formula I teach in reducing back pain and getting quality of life back and being able to do your passions or your new passions in life. Often they're physical ones as well, you know, whether that's golf and gardening and walking and all these wonderful things. Um, the five areas I'm always concentrating on with my clients are relaxation and breathing, meditation, that's the first one, which we're gonna really focus on today. Number two, stretching three core stability, four back strengthening, obviously overall strength, and five is mindset and positive affirmations. And some of my clients like angel cards too. So today I had, um, it was, it, we're always focusing on the back in my, you know, one-to-one -one, um, four week programs, membership and my group mindfulness Pilates membership. Today I had clients turning up, several turning up really stressed. Some turning up with, um, one turning up with sciatic symptoms at times and several turning up with very tight neck and shoulders as well. And overall, we're, we're working on maintenance and then improving, you know, sort of strength and everything overall. So it was basically that, that sort of created, you know, the perfect lesson plan for me to help my clients with today. So... On the tight neck and shoulders front, we did extra neck stretching. We did uh, longer, longer shoulder stretching to, and that really helped release tension, tightness, stiffness in that area. Um, we worked more on prevention of sciatica stretches and recovery of sciatica stretches, which is the same thing. Um, but more than anything, those type of stretches, which are amazing for the back, buttocks and hips, which are also practitioner physiotherapy type exercises as well they are brilliant to do for maintenance. And some of us need these like daily. Um, I, my, I always recommend my clients do six minutes a day and some of us need more than that <laughs> for maintenance that is. Um, I'm in that category. <laughs> I have to do more than six minutes practice a day, but I do do an hour a week like my clients do. So I thought we'd focus on the breathing and relaxation today. Now, because I had clients turning up, this is inspired by my clients turning up who were extra stressed, some of them this morning. So I always teach three relaxation meditations a session. I always teach one standing, some clients prefer sitting, but um, a 30 second one. I always do a one minute one lying down before we go into the stretching, core stability and back strengthening and everything. And I always then do a five minute meditation at the end, um, which is really, really lovely. Today we did even more because of some of my clients turning up particularly stressed, uh, they needed more. So what we did today, which is really nice. Um, so first, in relation to breathing, now Pilates breathing, it, number one, is core stability breathing. So this is a kind of lateral thoracic breathing where you're breathing sideways into the rib cage and the back. And it's meaning that you can keep your deep abdominals, um, you know, deeply working throughout all the exercises. Relaxation breathing, which is very good in meditation and when you're not actually doing your exercises and strengthening, you're allowing your tummy muscles to relax and rise and fall. So we tend to do that for six and a half minutes of class. <laughs> the rest of it is, um, you know, core stability all the way and quite powerful, strong breathing, very good for the respiratory system. So today we did longer at the beginning and what I got everyone to do is just to... Breathe in and out, in through, the no, in, through your, in through your nose, out through your mouth, relax. And everyone did that 10 times. And then we moved into breathing in for two and out for two. And then we moved into breathing in for two and out for four for another 10. And that was really calming. And on that particular breathing, we did it in through the nose, out through the nose. So there's some of the ways that I teach the breathing. End of class today, we did a, a beautiful body scan um, meditation relaxation, which is really, really nice. And you can use these things practically in daily life as well. For, so, for example, I was at the dentist once and, you know, I used the body scan um, relaxation technique there. So you can use it in, you know, your daily life in different ways. It's very nice at bedtime as well, that one. 
Um, I was also encouraging my clients as well as doing their six minutes before breakfast or first thing in the morning to also do a bit of bedtime mindfulness Pilates. It's a wonderful, wonderful way to end the day. Even just a few minutes, even a couple of little stretches and a little tiny meditation, even for a minute, makes a real difference at the end of the day and helps you feel more calm in mind, body and spirit before going to sleep. So I hope this has helped you in some way today. Please say hello. Any questions, ask away. Um, have a little breathe and relax. Actually, the other thing that was inspired my meditation today was the affirmation, I am loved. I am surrounded by love. So we, we brought that beautiful affirmation into the first meditation today, which is gorgeous. And my clients always get a personalised positive affirmation card um, from Happy Kids Cards or an angel card, one of my angel cards which um, clients really like. So yeah, if you want to have a, have a little meditate today, do you relax, do you meditate, and perhaps let's just um, relax together a couple of times to end today. Close your eyes, sitting, standing or lying down, breathe and relax. In through your nose, out through your mouth, relax. One more, breathe and relax. Very well done. Slowly opening your eyes or stay there much longer and carry on. <laughs> Lots of love and see you next time. Enjoy.